Hey y'all, it's Jess. So, welcome back. It's part five now of autistic hyposensitivity. We are doing vestibular and proprioceptive hyposensitivity uh, as just one because the senses are very similar and a lot of the things that I have to say about one I could say about the other. So as a hyposensitive person, I need more sensory input for me to receive a sensory signal that something is happening to me, and I also have difficulty interpreting it or responding to it. So your vestibular sense is like your sense of balance. And proprioception is your awareness of where your body is in space and your movements. So those two combined, me being hyposensitive in that, basically I'm less aware or completely unaware of my outward body sensations. The main issue for me is my nervous system is not receiving sensory input from my body's place in my environment. It presents as like spatial awareness problems, um, poor motor skills, clumsiness, um, hand-eye coordination difficulties, that's a big one for me. I'm not very good at sports uh, because of my hand-eye coordination. I can't hit the ball very well. I'm pretty good at tennis though. I can, I, can, I can do tennis. I'll move quicker than I have anticipated that I'm moving or slower than I've anticipated moving. Poor balance, poor posture, I'm always slouching. If I sit still too long, then I'll just start, I'll have this floaty feeling and it feels like my body's going numb, so that's why I'm constantly stimming, constantly moving, constantly like pushing my hair around, just like constantly like making sure that I know where my body is. <laughs> There's really, it's, it doesn't make sense sometimes, and it's hard to explain, especially to people who don't have any hyposensitivity or hypersensitivity to where their body is, and they don't really think about it a lot of the time. When I was younger, then I just like took off on my bicycle uh, when I first got it, fell off, and then wouldn't get back on it for years. Um, my sister loves skateboarding and she wanted to teach me how to skateboard because she just got two new ones and just like I, I, I know that I won't be able to do it because I, I have just all this experience of not having a sense of where my body is and how my body's moving. Um, for me, it's, it's never really been in issue, it's just been kind of a hazard and just kind of makes me clumsy and stuff like that. Very sensory seeking when it comes to vestibulation and proprioception, so that's why I love stim dancing, that's why I, like even before I knew I was autistic, then just randomly like at work or something when nothing was happening I just have to dance just because I needed input. I can't just like sit still somewhere. Also ADD, and so I can't sit still anyways. <laughs>